March Kara Hajimaru Isekai Kyusu Kyoku. This guy reminds me of myself and my dreams when I binge a video game for a while. I start to dream I am in the actual game. Coincidentally, that's exactly what happened to Satao, the MC of this series, in real life. He's nothing but a humble debugger, with a lot of work piling up on him. He closes his eyes for two seconds, and the next thing he knows, he's in a world made up of the compilation of games he's been debugging. With no time to take things in, he's assaulted by an army of lizardmen. In his confusion, he retaliated with a very powerful spell. I almost felt bad for the lizardmen as he wiped them all out. In return, his level skyrocketed to 310, with hundreds, if not thousands, of new skills unlocked at his disposal. So, now he's broken, with thousands of skills and spells, overpowered and overleveled. The only thing left for him to do now is to explore the world he was sent to, since there doesn't seem to be any means to return to his world in the time being. The show has a decent enough premise and idea to have you hooked to it, as well as the on-point execution and the events that transpired later in the series make it all the worthwhile. Five, Isekai Cheat Magician. Hello and welcome to How to Make a Generic Isekai Anime 101. First, you prepare the ingredients, unique cliches, generic character and love interest, a blinding light that sends you to a new foreign world, and the most important and most crucial ingredient is powers inexplicably gained. For the spices and add-ons, you can borrow other isekai concepts and change them a bit. It's not like anyone will notice that or anything. That is exactly what this anime is. Sure, the character is broken and powerful as hell. It feels like cheating, but he's as generic and bland as they come. As well, like every generic isekai, ever get overpowered, beat the demon, get the girl, live happily ever after. Well played! Four, Slime Taushite, 300 Nen. Shiranai Uchi ni level max, ni natemashita. Damn, and I thought I was a grinder. This girl spent 300 years of her immortal life farming slimes daily until she maxed out her level, reaching 99. That's one hell of a feat, if you ask me. In games, slimes are usually so weak and give measly experience, players wouldn't bat an eye at it, even to bother and fight them. Apparently, we might have been doing things the wrong way. Sure, it took her 300 years to max out, but she still did it with zero risks. With the news of her immense strength and power leaking into the world, a lot of adversity will be waiting for her friend and foe alike will seek her, whether for aid or for battle. 3. Kuma 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 Bear As a gamer myself, I can actually relate to this series when it comes to putting on some embarrassing armor just for the stats. Even if it makes me look like Hello Kitty, the stats are worth the hassle. And that's exactly what happened with this Vermo player. After a complete year of playing the game, the admins gifted a bear armor that looked embarrassing to wear that had insanely high stats. It was broken as hell. The moment she put it on, she was transported to a new world that she couldn't recognize. Being the veteran she is at games, however, she thinks nothing of it and decides to go on adventures exploring this new world she's in. 2. Oda Nobuna no Yabao In this show, all the feudal lords of old are transformed into hot, sexy women. But the biggest change was that they made Oda Nobunaga, the demon himself, a woman and a blonde one at that. The MC that got transported there already has knowledge of all that transpires in that era, but refrains from saying so or divulging anything to anyone around him in order to preserve the timeline and keep it intact, not wanting to fragment it more than had already happened with all the feudal lords becoming women. All he can do is watch as the events unfold and hope that the timeline isn't torn to shreds. 1. Mondaiji Taichi ga Isikai Karaku so desu yo. Here we go with one of those long Japanese titles, only that this time the English title is even longer. Problem children are coming from another world, aren't they? Yeah, that's a whole sentence, and a question. This fantasy anime is quite short with just 10 episodes, and it's got a bit of action and comedy. The story revolves around three teenagers with psychic powers who are transported to a new world after receiving an envelope. In this new world known as Little Garden, a deadly game is going on, and they decide to help a man known as Kurosagi reclaim his land from the Demon Lord. 
If you enjoyed this list, I want you to smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon to keep you notified of all our new videos. Oh, <laughs>